How many times should we forgive? That's the question that Peter asked Jesus in the Gospel according to Matthew. And Peter made the suggestion that seven could be a very good number. And that seems fair at first thought. But Jesus said, no, 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 it's not seven. It's 70 times, or other translation of the Bible would say 70 times seven. And I remember when we heard the story, when we when I heard the story when we were young and heard 70 times seven, we turned immediately to uh, Yannick Laramé, who was the math whiz in our class, and he told us 490. So for a few days, we were in this, at school, said, okay, that's one. You're at three now. So, and we thought we were so smart. Of course, this text, like many others in the gospel, are not meant to be literal. We're not called to count uh, how many times we forgive someone until we reach a certain number. It's we not called to play the number game uh, forgiveness. This is not about forgiveness. It's not about that because forgiveness is not like a commodity that we have a limited amount and we ought to use wisely or it's not something that we can use to have more power or acquire something like money or or anything else in our capitalist mentality and forgiveness is also not about um, you helped me so I'm in debt to you so I ought to help you in the future or uh, if you scratch my back I will scratch yours. Forgiveness is not this at all. What we discover through Jesus words is forgiveness is a lifestyle. It's a way of being a Christian and when we adopt this this way of thinking, this way of being, we discover like many other things like generosity, compassion, mercy, well forgiveness could be unlimited. It does not mean that forgiveness is the same than uh, to, to forgive is the same than to forget and does not mean that anything goes as long as we ask for forgiveness. I remember this very fun, uh, fun stories, uh, story that Jim Cochran, um, a singer, Canadian singer, uh, tell uh, about his mother. She was a good Roman Catholic, and there was this uh, jazz band coming from New York in town, and the priest said going there was a sin, so she decided to go anyway. And then next day went to confession and confessed about it, and yeah, she was okay. That's not the point here. Uh, forgiveness is a call to help ourselves, and that's often what is strange when we start to think about forgiveness. We think it's something we do for someone else. No, we, we it's something we do for ourselves. So many times we have this grudge or urge inside ourselves, this violence inside yourself and all of this poison only our own existence our own soul so forgiveness when I forgive someone else help me to free myself from all this past that I'm carrying inside of me and open possibility for the future forgiveness is to consider how we are forgiven also by God. That's the Lord's Prayer says, forgive us as we are forgiven. And to realize that God's forgiveness is unconditional, unlimited, unbounded, it challenges us to try to strive in that direction. So for that reason, we cannot say that forgiveness is about control, rules, parameters, but about a radical love that makes no sense in our world. And this is why it's so challenging for many of us. And it's, and that's the core issue here. Forgiveness is 
not a number. It's not rules and regulation. It's the way we live our faith, the way we relate with our God, and the way we relate with one another. That's all for today. I hope that you're enjoying this time of the year. I remain Reverend Stefan Vermet, a lectionary man. And until next time, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.